Hi, Mystery Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a comedy drama film called Secret Zoo. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Kang Tai Su works a dead-end temp position at a renowned law firm, J.H. Tai Su dreams of one day landing a permanent position at the firm, but so far, he has been unsuccessful. Tai Su's law firm has been hit with scandal after scandal. Currently, its vice president Min Chul Hyun is in prison for stock manipulation and embezzlement. A group of protesters have been camping outside the JH headquarters for more than a week to protest against the firm for being unjust and exploitative. Tai Su's college friend Song also works at the firm as an associate. The latter always invites Tai Su for drinks on the weekends, but Tai Su doesn't want to face his friends, who are a lot more successful than him. One day, JH's CEO, Mr. Huang, is mobbed outside the HQ by the protesters. The protesters hurl obscenities at Huang, which aggravates him, and he gets into a fight with the mob. The mob easily overpowers Huang, and seeing his boss in trouble, Tai Su puts himself in the line of fire to save him. The CEO takes notes of Tai Su being manhandled by the crowd as he drives away. Impressed by him, Huang invites Tai Su for dinner, where he meets Raquan Group's vice president and Hyun's sister, Min Che Ryung. After Ryung leaves, Huang gets to know more about Tai Su. Huang promises to give Tai Su a permanent position at JH if he manages to revitalize a failing zoo called Dong San Park that one of JH's UK based clients, Gabriel Incorporated, has acquired. Tai Su couldn't be more excited and accepts the deal immediately. However, Huang gives him an ultimatum and says that he has exactly three months to revitalize the failing zoo. In the next scene, Tai Su quickly heads over to the zoo, and lo and behold, he learns that the zoo has no animals, except for a troubled polar bear and some other animals that no one would pay to see. Tai Su talks to the remaining zoo staff, and they reveal that the zoo's animals have been taken away by the loan sharks that the zoo's previous owners owed money to. The zoo staff consists of former director Seo, veterinarian Han, Hai Kyung, and Gun Wook. After learning that Tai Su is the new director of the zoo, Seo proceeds to leave, but Tai Su convinces him to stay, saying his experience will be necessary to bring this zoo back to life. Tai Su proposes buying animals, but he is told that one can't buy endangered animals. They could seek special permission for research and breeding from the government, but that could take well over three months. Later that night, while returning back to his living quarters inside the zoo, Tai Su is given the scare of a lifetime by a stuffed animal, which he mistakes for a real tiger. One of the laid off zoo staff reveals that he is taking the stuffed toy to sell it for some money. The next morning, Tai Su relays his problem to Huang, but the latter tells Tai Su to return if he can't make it work. Realizing that he may no longer have a future at the company if he fails to deliver, Tai Su promises to make it work at any cost. Tai Su then notices pictures of the zoo's annual soft toy contest on the wall, and suddenly, an idea strikes him. He proposes the idea of having the zookeepers dress up as animals. He stresses that people won't be able to tell the difference between a realistic animal costume and a real animal from a certain distance. The zoo staff quickly get on board in the name of saving the zoo, but Han refuses to partake in the foolishness. However, Tai Su plays with Han's heartstrings by bringing up the story of her becoming a vet because of the zoo's polar bear, Black Nose, eventually persuading her. Tai Su then contracts a Hollywood costume designer to design a realistic lion, gorilla, sloth, and polar bear costume. Within two weeks, they receive the costumes, and CO suggests hiring actors for the job, but Tai Su turns down the suggestion, saying their secret could get out. Left with no choice, Han, Hai Kyung, Gun Wook, and CO become the lion, sloth, gorilla, and polar bear respectively, and the rehearsals begin. Soon, the zoo's gates are opened to the public, and it receives groups of kindergarten kids and senior citizens. The zoo staff initially struggle, but eventually get the hang of their new job, managing to fool the visitors. Their effort manages to attract 75 visitors in a week, but the numbers are not enough to keep the zoo open, so Tai Su insists on getting a giraffe to lure more visitors. Meanwhile, Hai Kyung's boyfriend, Sung Min, dumps her after wasting five years worth of her savings on a convenience store near the zoo. 
Seeing Hai Kyung crying, Gun Wook storms into the store, wearing the gorilla costume, and destroys it. Sung Min reports the gorilla to the police, but he is brushed aside as a lunatic. The following day, Sung Min shows up at the zoo, where Gun Wook again attacks him as a gorilla, exposing their secret in the process. After learning about Tai Su's scam, Sung Min threatens to report them to the police, but Hai Kyung convinces him against it and asks Gun Wook to apologize to him. Later that night, Tai Su visits his costume designer, but to his dismay, he learns that he has taken off with the deposit, leaving behind only the head of the giraffe in the warehouse. However, Tai Su refuses to give up, and he uses the head of the giraffe to trick his visitors. Soon, Seo falls sick from sitting out in the sun in the hot costume, so Tai Su takes over his role. He quickly learns that cosplaying an animal at a zoo isn't an easy job, as some unruly visitors keep throwing stuff at him. Tai Su also gets tired of sitting in the sun, and when no one's looking, he grabs a Coca-Cola bottle thrown by one of the visitors inside the pit and drinks it to quench his thirst. However, some visitors manage to capture Tai Su, gulping down the Coca-Cola bottle. That day, a representative from JH arrives at the zoo and reveals that Tai Su's request for animal purchase has been approved. After giving him a tour of the zoo, Tai Su manages to send the rep off. That night, Tai Su gets a call from Song, who tells him about his plans to visit the zoo with his kids. After seeing JH spending so much money and effort to keep the zoo up and running, Tai Su asks Song about Gabriel, and Song reveals that Gabriel is Huang's own shell company that he uses to manage his slush fund, much to Tai Su's astonishment. The next day, a crowd of people show up at the zoo, and Tai Su learns that his polar bear has gone viral. After the video of the polar bear drinking coke hit the internet, Tai Su and his team couldn't be more excited, and thanks to the polar bear, the zoo becomes a massive hit. Hundreds of people flock to the zoo every day to see the bear drinking coke, and over the weekend, the zoo makes a massive profit of $100,000. One day, Gun Wook finds Hai Kyung despairing by herself and talks to her. She is still reeling from her breakup, and Gun Wook offers to take her out to dinner. Meanwhile, Tai Su notices Black Nose roaming outside in the pit. He then finds Han watching an old childhood video of Black Nose by herself. She reveals that she let Black Nose out of the cage so he could get some fresh air. The two then talk about Black Nose's worsening behavior. She says that no matter how spacious the zoo is, it is still a cement cage for the polar bear. She reveals that she once had an opportunity to send the animal to Canada, where it could live in the wild, but she decided to keep it around, hoping that if she did her best, it would get better. She laments her decision and thanks Tai Su for saving the zoo before parting ways. The next day, Huang offers Tai Su a permanent position at JH. Tai Su is ecstatic at the news, but his happiness soon turns into disappointment when Huang reveals his plans to bulldoze the zoo and build a resort. Rakwan Group had purchased over 25 million square feet of land around the zoo, and they also wanted to buy the zoo itself, but Huang's shell company Gabriel swooped in and bought it up. Huang then ordered Tai Su to revitalize the zoo so Gabriel could sell the land to Rakwan Group at a much higher price. Tai Su tries to convince Huang against selling the zoo, but Huang dismisses him. Dejected, Tai Su returns to the zoo to deliver the bad news, but he is surprised by Han and the others with a success party. Former employees of the zoo also join the party and thank Tai Su for giving them their livelihood back. Seeing them so happy, Tai Su can't bring himself to break the bad news. However, a former employee of the zoo from earlier in the movie arrives and reveals Rakwan's plans to build a resort on top of the zoo. Tai Su confirms the news and the former employees leave, disappointed. Han and the others feel cheated by Tai Su and refuse to hear him out. Left with no choice, Tai Su returns to his new job in Seoul and gets on with his life. However, he still regrets what's happening to the zoo. When the Rakwan Group's team arrives to demolish the zoo, Seo gets into an altercation with the company staff and injures himself in the process. The zoo staff reunite in the hospital, and Han proposes a solution. She suggests opening the zoo and putting Rakwan on blast publicly for trying to demolish it. The public campaign works, and the media and environmental activists get all over Rakwan like a bad rash. The development enrages Rakwan's vice president, Ryung, and Huang promises to remove the miscreant employees from the zoo premises. However, it fails to calm Ryung down, as her attempts to revamp the image of the company have tanked badly. 
Huang promises to resolve the problem as soon as possible and leaves. Huang is later visited by Hai Kyung's ex-boyfriend, Sung Min, who tells the CEO the truth about the fake zoo animals. Tai Su notices Sung Min leaving Huang's office and figures out that he has ratted them out. Huang and his assistant immediately leave for the zoo, and they are closely followed by Tai Su. Before Huang gets to expose them, Tai Su alerts Han and the others about the development. Han stops Huang from going into the room where the polar bear is kept. Shortly afterwards, Tai Su joins them, and Huang warns him to tell him the truth about the zoo animals. But Tai Su continues to feign ignorance. Enraged, Huang forces his way into the room and finds Black Nose sleeping. Mistaking the bear for a fake one, Huang challenges the animal, almost getting himself killed in the process. To calm Black Nose, Han lets him into the pit while Huang proceeds to leave. However, Huang returns to check the polar bear again. When he becomes certain that the giraffe is fake, Huang gets into the pit with Black Nose and challenges him again. Black Nose attacks him, and Huang passes out. To save his boss, Tai Su puts on the polar bear suit and lures Black Nose away from Huang. It works, and Huang is brought back to safety, but at the expense of Tai Su, who is attacked by the bear. The angry bear tears Tai Su's suit open, exposing him. But fortunately, Tai Su manages to run to safety just in time. After the public debacle, Tai Su apologizes to his team and offers to take all the blame to protect them. However, Han and others oppose the idea, saying they are all as guilty as him. Hai Kyung wishes out loud that they could do something about Black Nose and the other remaining animals. Suddenly, an idea strikes Tai Su yet again. He claims that he can save the zoo and goes to meet Rakwan's vice president, Ryung. He proposes to run an ecological park for Ryung's resort, where the animals could live. This would not only remove the roadblock stopping the construction of the resort, but it would also save Rakwan's image from being tarnished further. Ryung agrees, on the condition that Tai Su gets Gabriel on board. Through his friend, Song, Tai Su retrieves hard evidence of Huang laundering money using Gabriel. Tai Su then threatens to leak the documents to the press and police if Huang doesn't agree to sell the zoo to Rakwan. Reluctantly, Huang agrees to the deal. Several years pass by, and the movie cuts to a scene of Ryung presenting a video of the Rakwan Eco Park consisting of various real wild animals. Seo and others have been hired by Rakwan Group. Moreover, Black Nose has immigrated to Canada. The movie ends with Tai Su and Han visiting Black Nose in his natural habitat. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.